Welcome again and today we're going to take a look on how to compute overall and absorption of overheads in absorption costing system of inventory evaluation. So, first of all, we have to understand that normally in absorption costing system we usually include fixed production overheads as part of a product cost. And so we usually determine overall and absorption of fixed production overheads. And this is represents a variance. So what are absorbed overheads? Because we are talking about overall and absorption, but what are absorbed overheads? Absorbed overheads represent overheads that are already included in the production cost. Thus, in cost of sales, because we know that production cost is part of cost of sales, and the cost of sales is part of an income statement. So Absorbed overhead could be anywhere in production cost, in cost of sales, as well as in an income statement as a whole. What we really should include is actual overheads if we have actual results or expected overheads if we would not have actual results. That's just our expectation. So to know whether there is an overall and absorption, we have to compare absorbed overhead with actual or expected overheads. If absorbed overheads are greater, than actual or expected that is an overabsorption. That means we included more than what what we should have included in the income statement. So absorption means inclusion, what we have included. And if absorbed overheads are less than actual or expected overhead, that means we included less than we should have included. And this is called an underabsorption. Now how do you compute absorbed overheads? Absorbed overhead equals to overhead absorption rate times actual or expected activity level. Activity level could be anything, hours, units, etc. So it all just depends on the situation. Now, how do you obtain overhead absorption rate or AR? Overhead absorption rate equals to budgeted fixed production overhead overheads divided by the budgeted activity level. So the activity level will depend if it's units, if it's hours. It just depends. The budgeted activity level can sometimes be given in the normal activity level, so don't be confused by the terms. Let's look at an example now. During the period, budgeted fixed production overheads were $1.5 million and 10,000 units were budgeted to be produced. But at the period end, only 9,500 units were produced and 1.48 million dollars were incurred so these were actual overheads incurred we are told compute and or over absorption how do you go about this now you go to a solution so first of all we compute the overhead absorption rate that will enable us to obtain absorbed overhead because here we already have actual overheads is uh here 1.48 million dollars we already have actual so we just have to compare it with the absorbed overheads now to obtain absorbed overhead from this question here absorbed or here here absorbed overheads equals to overhead absorption rate times actual or expected activity level so first of all compute overhead absorption rate so overhead absorption rate is the formula states budgeted fixed production overhead absorption rate that means it should involve budgeted data it should be fixed, it should be related to production. So you take the budgeted fixed production overhead divided by the budgeted activity level, which here will be units. So we take our budgeted fixed production overhead, which is here, $1.5 million, budgeted units, 10,000. You divide and you obtain $150 per unit. Here, this is our overhead absorption rate. So we compute of absorbed overheads. Absorbed overheads. How do you obtain absorbed overheads? Absorbed overheads equals to overhead absorption rate times the actual or expected activity level. But we are told that the actual units produced actually amounted to 9,500. So we multiply here. 150 times 9,500 and we obtain 1.425 million dollars. So this is absorbed overheads. Now. Actual overheads where we obtained actually we were given 1.48 million dollars here. So we just compare. 
So we have already included 1.425 million dollars, but we should have included 1.48. That means we have or included less. So if we have included less, that means that there is an underabsorption. What did we underabsorb? We take the difference. If we take the difference. We'll have fifty-five thousand dollars, and this is an underabsorption. So there will be an underabsorption of fifty-five thousand dollars. Thanks for watching, and then until next.